Welcome to Controllers Tech. I made a video about HCS04 ultrasonic sensor to find distance. This video will cover the HCS04 sensor, but this time we will use a different, but better approach towards it. We will see how can we use input capture to measure the pulse width, and which will be used to find the distance. Let's start with Cube IDE. I am using STM32F103C8 controller. Give the name to the project, and click finish. Let's set up the clock first. I am selecting external crystal. Do this if you have Cortex M3 only. Let's run the system at maximum clock. I am going to use timer 1 for this project. Select the input capture mode. I have made a video on input capture few months ago. You can watch it by clicking the top right corner. Timer 1 is connected to APB2 clock, and which is clocked at 72 MHz. If you are using any other timer, check the datasheet to know where it is connected to. Prescaler in my case will be 71. This will bring the timer clock to 1 MHz, and we will get a timer period of 1 microsecond per count. This is important because, HCS 04 sends the pulse of few microseconds, so in order to read the width of the pulse, we need the timer working in microseconds range. Now ARR will be the maximum possible value. For a 16-bit timer, it would be 65,535. Make sure you enable the timer capture compare interrupt. Let's assume that you used another timer, like timer 2. And you don't see the capture compare interrupt, then in that case, enable the global interrupt. Pin PA it is selected by default, and we will connect the echo pin here. Select the pin PA9 as the output for the trig pin. Everything is set now. Click save to generate the project. Let's start now. First of all I will create a delay function, which can provide us the microsecond delay. I have already made a video on it. Check the top right corner. Here are the variables defined, which will be used. This callback function will be called, whenever a rising, or falling edge will be captured. First, on detecting a rising edge, the timestamp will be stored in the ICVAL1 variable. Now we will set the polarity for capturing the falling edge. When the falling edge is captured, another timestamp will be stored in the ICVAL2 variable. Now the counter will be reset, and we will calculate the difference between two captured timestamps. This difference will be in microseconds, as our timer is running in that range. Based on this difference, the distance will be calculated, by using the formula provided in the sensor's datasheet. After finishing up all the calculations, we will change the polarity, in order to capture the rising edge again and this loop will keep repeating. If you are using any other timer channel, make sure you update it at all the respective positions. This is the function to trigger the HCS-04, to start capturing data. Let me quickly define the trig pin, and port.
To trigger the HCSR04, we have to pull the trig pin high for around 10 microseconds, and then pull it low. For this purpose only, I created a delay function to give delay in microseconds. Now in the main function, we will start the timer in input capture interrupt mode. And in the while loop, we will read the HCSR04 every 200 milliseconds. We got a lot of errors here. I have defined the pin in a wrong way. We still got few errors. This error is actually present in the default generated code. You can also click the error in the console, and you will directly reach here. Click at this end, and delete this bracket. I didn't got this error in F4 series controllers. You may or may not get this, based on your software version. If you are not looking for the LCD, this is it. You will get the distance accurately, within plus minus 2 centimeters range. Let's include the I2C for the LCD. I am using I2C1 for this purpose. That error got generated again. Let me quickly fix it. Now let's include the LCD library files. Refresh the code, so that you can see them. If you are using another I2C, make sure you change here. Initialize the LCD first. Let's print this string on the display. Now inside the while loop, we will print the distance values on the display. Let's say the distance is 23. Then 23 divided by 10 will give us 2, and plus 48 is to convert to the respective character. Similarly, 23% 10 will give us 3. Let's build it. Looks like I forgot to include the header file. Include i2clcd.h
Everything is good now. Let's flash it to the board. You can see the distance shown is as expected. This is it for the video. I hope you understood the concept, and the procedure. You can download the code from the link in the description. Keep watching, and have a nice day.